Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can upload your documents on Firebase. As you know, Firebase is a platform that is powered by Google that gives us variety of services that we can use in our application. I am on the official website of Firebase that is firebase.google.com. Firstly, you need to create your account here. As I have already created an account, I just need to click on get started and it will take me to my console. Firstly, you need to add a new project by just naming, giving the name of your project here. I have already created some projects. I need to select any of my project. On the project overview screen, you can see large number of services and that Firebase provides us. It provides us services for authentication, for storage, for storing, for real-time database, for testing and large number of others. Firstly, you need to add a new application. Uh, you, you can connect your iOS application, your Android application or your web application. In this video, I will show you how you can connect your web application with it. You just need to click on add register a web application and give the name of your app here. Like app demo and you need to uh, register your application. When you click on the register app, Firebase will provide you with your API key, your auth domain, your project ID, database URL, storage, bucket, messaging center ID, app ID and measurement ID. All these parameters will be given to you after registering your application. You need to click on storage as we are using this service for uploading our documents. And you need to modify our rules first. Change the rule to allow read and write to all users. As I am creating the app for testing purpose, so I can allow all users to read and write to my storage service. When you are creating the application for some production use, you can modify the, these rules uh, to restrict uh, uh, everyone from, for to restrict some specific users to accessing the storage service. Click on files. And here you can upload various files using your web application. So let's jump into the VS code. This is my configuration file. And this is my server.ts file that is my TypeScript file where just I just initialized my server here. In my controller file, I need to import or install some packages. First, you need to install Express, Firebase, and Multer. Uh, Express is for web application. Firebase is required for uh, for getting in touch or for uh, uploading your documents on Firebase. And Multer is another package that uh, NPM provide and that uh, help us to deal with uh, form documents. As we are uploading our documents like uh, images, uh, JSON file or PDF file, so it is required to import Multer in it. I have imported Multer and imported from uh, initialize app from Firebase app. After that, you need to um, import and uh, get storage reference or uh, get download URL or uh, and the upload by it is resemble from Firebase storage. Firstly, you need to initialize your Firebase application by providing it with a configuration uh, object that I have written in config, uh, config file. I have placed all my private uh, variables in the environment variable file. After initializing your application, you need to initialize the closed storage and get the reference to the closed storage service by calling the get storage method. After that, you need to imp uh, you need to pass the storage object to Multer and set up the Multer as a middleware. As we are using the Multer to grab all the documents that we uploaded through form. This is the API that will be called when the user click on the upload photo button and I am uh, passing the uh, request to the uh, multi middleware and grabbing the file name. This is the reference uh, to which we need to pass the storage and the file. I am appending the date time with my original and with the name of my file. The purpose of doing this is that uh, 
when i upload two documents or two images with same name the firebase replace it when i append the date time with it it will not be replaced and every uh, new document will act as a, a new document or unique document after that we need to create a meta file uh, that contains the type of the file because the file can be uh, image or the pdf file or the json file any file so we need to pass the uh, type of the file with it also so uh, we are now uploading our file to the firebase storage we need to pass the storage reference we need to pass the buffer of the uh, request file and the metadata we need to await for this uh, function to execute when it successfully execute it will upload our document to uh, firebase storage and give us your uh, the url of the uh, uploaded file so we can get our url by calling the get download url and i am sending the response to it this is a function that i am using to get the current date and time so i need to run this so it is running without any error so let's jump into the postman and send a request so i am uh, first i need to select some file uh, i am selecting this file to upload on uh, firebase storage so this file is selected i need to send the request it will take some time to upload my document to firebase storage and giving me the uh, the download url that i can use so as you can see the github.png is successfully uploaded to uh, firebase storage we can also verify it by refreshing it the storage so as you can see the github image is successfully uploaded on uh, firebase storage we can also view it by clicking on the name of the file so in this way you can upload your documents your pdf files your json file your uh, png jpg any file to firebase thank you very much